Vincent. It's Vincent. We back here on Real Talk with the Realists. Got shit to talk about. Let's get into it. My boy Vincent, man. How you been, bro? Um, I'm feeling good. Um, I'm really just blessed. Just blessed to be here, you know. Another day, another day to get to it. Man, I feel it. I feel it, man. Thanks. Man, you've been on Real Talk one time already, <laughs> man. So now we got you back, bro. And I ain't gonna lie, we got you back. Kind of on like a hot streak, bro. You've been dropping music like almost what, like every week almost is coming, like, bro. You <laughs> nah, nah, dropping? Nah, week. I'm trying to drop like at least every every month, every month and a half, you know. But we want to take our time with it because you know you want the you just, you you want the music to be right, the production to be right, and you, you really want the the videos to be right. So you know that that take time, and, you know. So that's be working on. That's a fact, bro. That's a fact, yeah. bro. So uh, speaking about the videos and everything, bro, we have been seeing something that you know to me I find very kind of like you know dope when artists kind of I feel like push themselves into a different lane bro um I feel like you kind of went from kind of running guns to now you're kind of doing like treatments and stuff now like you're doing more thought out videos is there a reason behind that like is there something that you're trying to like accomplish or are you trying to you just like show a different type of yourself or something like that what I feel like with the videos the more the music elevated you know the videos had to elevate the more uh the growth for myself progressed the more the music the sound progressed the videos had to get better, you know. You always gonna start at a at a bottom, but you always gonna work your way up to the top. So it's like, you know, we just, you know, we on that incline right now. I feel that. I feel that, man. And that's crazy. Like if you've been doing that, you're on the incline. You're going crazy, man. Mm -hmm. Like what's been behind this like hot streak that you got going right now? Like what what's motivating you right now? Just keep pushing. You just go I mean, crazy. It's not really motivation. It's just like I'm just finally like growing and. Uh, Healing in myself, I feel like I done had a lot of growth over the past few months, like last year, just with myself understanding who I am. And with that comes the growth of everything else. You know, a lot of people, they be asking, like, why I'm not growing and why I'm not this and that. Reevaluate yourself and actually do an internal uh, evaluation of yourself and you'll find your answer. So it's just like I found my answer with answers within myself. And, I've just been growing and healing, and it's, it's been beautiful. It's been great. So, I really just, I really just thank God. I put it like that for real, cause, you know, that, that's the only one you can get things, things to, for that, for that shit. I feel that. What are some things that you say, and like you saying that you've been going and like connecting deeper with yourself, finding some things that you're growing and healing from. So, what are some things that you're finding that you've been growing and developing yourself as? You know what I'm saying? Like, what are some examples that you've been tackling? I don't know what that is. Uh, ask a question again, my bad. I know you good. So like what? So you saying like you've been going through stuff, kind of like finding, like really like looking into your own self and everything, and growing and healing and understanding mm -hmm. different things about yourself. So what is what are you kind of like finding out about yourself as you're taking that you know that journey? Uh, I'm figuring out that uh, really with positivity, if I if I put positive energy into the world, it's gonna come back to me. What you put out is, you know, what you get back. And I had to take that in and really realize that I can't always be mad at the world or mad because somebody did this to me, somebody did that to me. I got to take responsibility for my own emotions and my own reactions and shit. So that's just, that's just really where I've been. I've just been really at peace with shit. And when you at peace with shit, can't nothing stop you. The world could be fucked up. I'm still out here working. I don't get no fuck. People could be, he ain't here, she ain't here, family member ain't here. Fuck them. We still out here getting it. And that's just, that, that's just really what it got to be with me. You know, I'm at peace with myself. I'm at peace with everything, everything that's perfect, with everything that's wrong. I'm not mad. I'm not sad. I'm here. So it's nothing right now that you feel like can knock you off your square to like kind of like disrupt your peace right now that you found? I mean, it's things that I can say like kind of rattle my cages, but they don't, they don't knock me off. Like, you know, still dealing with them little, little cases or whatever, but, I mean, other than that, nah, like, I'm here, can't stop me, you know, only person who can stop me is God, you know, so nah, I can't, can't, can't not stop me right now, I'm on a, hey, I'm, I'm a big ass semi truck coming your way, bitch, for real. <laughs> they gotta move. They gotta move. <laughs> I feel it, man. No, for real. So... I want to talk about one of them. Like, and you did something like peaceful, correct? You had got a, uh, arrested for a peaceful protest. I mean, I really just don't really want to discuss that. That's like open case right mm. now, so we just really not even finna just touch on that. But 
You know? Nah, I feel you on that. <laughs> For real. Nah, but we do hope all that stuff does get cleared up, Thanks. man. Because you are very talented, you know what I'm saying? You got a good thing going. And like you're saying, bro, it sounds like you're very in tune with, you know, Christ mm -hmm. and everything. Bro, you're really positive into it's this. Not in, it's not in Christ. You know, it's mm -hmm. not in Christ. It's, it's bigger than that. It, it, it's spiritual. It's not It's not no religion or nothing. That, <laughs> people get it twisted. It's not no religion or nothing. It's, uh... Mm -hmm. It's with the it's with the earth, fool. It's it's like with the with, with everything around me, fool. You gotta really have a really pre appreciation and gratitude for the shit that's around you, the air that you breathe and the legs that you walking with, the heart that you got. A lot of niggas dead, a lot of niggas in that jail, but you out here, you gotta be blessed with that. So it's not even that. I'm just having gratitude with everything around me. And once you have gratitude, you gonna see you gonna see the rewards from you from your hard work. Yeah, and that's a very good way to look at that. I like that outlook on life, man, for real, for real. Right. So when you're saying that it comes from, if you don't mind me asking, can we go a little religious with this? Like, if you don't mind me asking. I don't really do religion, but you can go. That's you my, that's, go. That was my question right go. there. You so cool. Go. No, 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 cool. You can go. All right, so I was going to ask you if you are, like, religious, like, are you, you know, Christian or any of those bases? Because you said it's kind of, it's bigger than just religion. So I was wondering if, like, any of those kind of, like, was there some something that kind of told you, like, all right, were you like, all right, my, here's my question. So, did you start with the religion? Like, were you ever like, kind yeah, of like my granny? That's how I really got into the music. Was I was always listening to the choir, and my mom a minister and shit. She United Methodist. My mm -hmm. granny a Christian. I was baptized and shit, Christian. But when I was going to church, like I really just didn't connect with what they were saying, like that, like the Bible, and I just wasn't really connecting with it. And when I really just stepped out on my own. And really went through my own things, learned my own lessons, and I really found a, a guy that like that I connect with. You feel mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Spiritually, like I said, it's bigger than religion. People get that understood. That's really why I fuck with um excuse my English. That's really why I like um Muslims, because it, mm -hmm. it's bigger than just religion. It's a it's a bigger God, you know what I'm saying? And the God is spiritual, he he not if you this religion and you that religion, you gonna die. <laughs> like it's not, it's not like that. It's bigger than that. So I really don't. You ask me what's my religion. I know it's a God. You know what I'm saying. That's and and we connected. And that's all it is. That's a really good answer. And I like that. I only asked you because of like just hearing how you think and everything. It's mm -hmm. just a, a different mindset. Like you saying, it's bigger than. You can't be closed minded because and people mm -hmm. when people think they always got shit figured out. Is when they is when they stop growing. I'm mm. I don't know nothing. I'm learning every day. Every day I get up, I'm learning. Every every day I get up, I'm a newborn. I'm learning. Yeah, I I I'm wise because I went through things. But every, every time I get up, I'm learning. Now with that, do you feel like that's kind of a lot of struggles that a lot of people do go through because they kind of feel like say they say some people that go through go to college or whatever they feel like they know everything because they got that degree or whatever. Do you mm -hmm. feel like those people are in their own way? Because, like, how you're saying you're still learning yeah, every you, day. Yeah, you in your own way. You hinder yourself from growing because you don't give yourself room to learn because you think your brain has got all the knowledge that it's needed. Mm -hmm. But you take that person outside of their field and they really don't know nothing. So, Very true. I don't know. Like, I'm in college right now. And, you know, you know, I like to study a lot of things. I'm not even in the medical field. I like watching little medical videos and sitting, just doing different, just basic learning and shit like that. You got to just stop being so, you no, know, so one-sided. Mm -hmm. You got to open up your mind a little bit. I like that. I like that. Do you mind if I ask what you're studying right now? Business management. I want to get into uh, entertainment law, you know, deal with contracts and uh, stuff like that. That is a very good feel for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I is. think that's a really good feel I for you. I want to be able to read my own shit. When the, when the label come, I want to know, like, I already know what the fuck you trying to say to me. And dude. you playing you with playing it. With yeah. It. <laughs> <laughs> you playing with it, nigga. Oh, God. I like that. I like that. So, so are you doing that because you're already passionate about music yourself? That you're like, all right, I'm already into music. I like yeah, I'm music. Already, it's like, yeah, I'm already into music. Uh, I'm building my brand. Finna get the merch going. Uh, you know, when I'm moving across city to city, I want to know what I'm really talking about. I want to know the lingo. I want to know the language. So when people do try to come to me, like, incorrect, I know that they're incorrect. And I'm not just sitting there, mm -hmm, being a yes man. Mm -hmm. Oh, that sounds good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like, I know what you're saying. I like that. I like that, too. Do you feel like that's going to really help you with your career so that way you know you're not going to be able to get taken advantage of like a lot of these other artists have had happened in the past or Yeah, because they don't want to learn. They feel like... 
Oh, the, the dude I pay can do it. Mm-hmm. But you don't know nothing else. Mm. So when they come here, hey, Vincent, all you got to do is sign these papers. Mm-hmm. You do it. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like, you got you to gotta know, you gotta know it to yourself, too. Yeah, I can pay him to do it. That's just because I can't do it right now. But if I need to do it myself, I know I can do it. That's why I'm really just blessed to be in a position I am to not even be, just be signed to no label or add no management yet is because I'm doing it all myself. So when you do do it and I do get you to do it, I know kind of what it's supposed to look like. You feel what I'm saying? I know kind of what it's supposed to be like. I like that. I like that. I like that for sure. So, man, I mean, that's, that's really crazy. So, like, right now, you know, you're coming off of what? You just dropped... What video you just dropped? You just dropped Faith in Me? Yeah, I just dropped a new big single, Faith in Me. Y'all go get that. That shit on YouTube, iTunes, Spotify, Tilda, Amazon Music, Google Music, whatever you whatever you own. Faith in Me by Vincent. It's the... Hey, that song right there. That that song right there was really just like a, a soul cry to let people know that. Mm-hmm. Have faith in me. Because if you don't, I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming for anybody who said... Said that I couldn't do it because I'm doing it right now. Still doing it. Put me in the cell, try to, yeah, I'm still right here doing it. Mm-hmm. Try to come at me with the, yeah, I'm still doing it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, okay. Hey, fuck them niggas. Hey, I'm out here. <laughs> we out here. Yeah. For real. Man, no, that's a fact, man. I did want to just have you just elaborate a little bit on it. Um, just like you kind of did, just because of the song, I feel like it's very different. It speaks from a different side of Vincent that I believe, you know, because of when I first got into you, that was uh, Straight Out the Mud, I mm-hmm. believe the name of the song, and I thought that was, you know, turnt, and that's kind of what me and you finally got kind of locked in and everything. But hearing Faith in Me, uh, I just feel like that's a whole different side of you. I it's honestly wasn't even expecting to hear. It's a different side. You weren't expecting to hear, but the crazy thing is, is I got music like that that's like, from 2020, you feel what I'm saying? Like, that's just some shit that we just worked on, you feel what I'm saying? And, and we just decided to put out, but we got hella shit like that. The music, the music coming, we just, past year and a half, we just been building a catalog. The music here, the music coming, like I said, it just takes a little time, put it in the works, make sure you got the right vision for it. You got the cards in the deck, but you got to know the right time when to play them. Mm. That's smooth. So you just be sitting on a lot of music. Not really sitting on them, but just waiting till I got the right time, till I got the right money, till I got the right yeah. Cause you don't want to put it out and then don't can't push it the right way in it. You know what I'm saying? So patience is key in this game. You gotta know when to when to make them moves. When to yeah, mm-hmm. when to go for them slots. Okay. But it's not like we just sent back enough. We 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 still working. <laughs> Every day we working. We we grinding. But as far as just the releases, um, we just taking our time. We're not even taking our time with it. We just want them to be right. Mm. So and you got to do your due diligence with that. Okay, okay. Now, like that you said that. So, but you are understanding, like, having patience, knowing when to go ahead and actually, you know, shoot and drop a video, when to go actually drop the single. Is it like a formula that you have, or is it something like you done some research on, or like somebody that you are inspired by? Like, where are you kind of like getting all that from to understand that's how you want it to go? I see what you say. I see what you say. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, really, shout out to um, shout, I I put it like this. I really shout out to uh, I shout out to Russ. I really respect Russ because uh, we kind of doing it the same way, you know, out the closet, out the bedroom, you know, taking your time with it, you know, perfecting the sound and. And when it's ready, you boom, 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 boom. You dropping them hoes, you know, like we doing now. Like mm-hmm. you said, we on the hot street, which means we heating up. We going, we going up that hill. Mm-hmm. So it's just like, I shout out to him. He just had the mindset. And I already had the mindset with it. It's just, I really couldn't see, couldn't see the map out, couldn't see the plan. But, you know, nigga said some shit really mm-hmm. stuck with me. Yeah. And really shout out to uh shout out to Nipsey Hussle too for real. Why is that? Independent, he came from the bottom. Came from nothing. Nobody was fucking with his music or whatever. Same for us. Nobody they were making music. Nobody went they want no yeah, they weren't even fucking with us. Shout out to Blank Square Productions, cause they were the ones that gave us that first video that put him in the Hey, dope. facts, I'm already knowing, yeah. They are a dope, 
dope, dope production team. I think they drop like the hardest videos. And the craziest things, the videos that you're dropping now are the same type of things that they drop. Storyboard, treatments, like thorough videos. And I loved every project they've done with Russ. Hell uh, yeah. Like, literally. Um, <clears throat> so, my bad, getting back on to you, man. But that is dope that you had some inspiration, but you understand that you got like that little method. You got a formula and everything. Yeah, you gotta, yeah, you gotta have a, a form. You gotta have a plan. And once you got the plan, you gotta work it. Anything might get in your way, but you gotta stick to the plan. So that's what I was about to ask. Is that, uh, has there ever been a time when something happened where it didn't go according to plan? Like something yeah, yeah, probably like, flopped or maybe something went yeah. through the roof that you wasn't expecting. Have you ever had one of those experiences? Yeah, hey, yeah, all the time. Shit, going, shit, might be going broke, spending money on the music, can't go to the studio. Shit, might have to reskills of this, reskills of that. Like, it, it's hella shit, you know what I'm saying? Kyle might fuck up, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's hella shit, and that's just material, this is shit, but mentally it's just like, I'm nuh, but... You know, like I said, they gonna try to throw a nigga off, but you, you gotta stay focused. If anything, so you know. So when that stuff does go wrong, what are some ways that you kind of like see the brighter side? If that's a, a good example, like what kind of gets you through it? Like you know, all right, you know, I can fix this, or it's, I know, it's cool. I know it's part of the plan. I already know it's part of the process. Like I don't trip. Mm. I might go work out. I might smoke a meal a little blunt, <laughs> but I know it's part of the plan, and I just keep hustling. Okay, okay. See, I don't know. People in my family, for we got a hustling my mindset for. Mm -hmm. Like my mama, she will go get her. Cause he will go get her. His daddy go get her. I'ma go get her. Granny go get her. You know, we all we all hustlers. So it's just like whatever you put in front of us, we gon' we gonna eat that up. Mm. Okay, okay, I feel it, I feel it. So you being inspired by, you know, like a family full of hustles and everything, is there any ways that you can see that you have applied how they move to how you put out your music or anything? Is that like part of the formula? Is some you know, I'm trying to you know, I'm trying to do a little research on Vincent, like what's kinda of like how you think, you know what I'm saying? So Oh that, like where I get my mindset from. Yeah, is that kinda of where you get it from? No, that's not really where I, that's not where I get it from. Oh, where do you yeah. so where do you get your mindset from? Or how do you just like you thinking, just tackling stuff, man? Where does that come from, bro? Reading books? What's it about? Nah, I ain't it? reading books, just just through my experience, through my through my short lived life. You know, I'm only twenty I'm only twenty one. Uh, should I have a birthday Sunday? Happy birthday. Yeah, Happy belated that. birthday. No, for real. <laughs> fact. Fact. Another year. But uh, just my experience through life, I understood at a young age that if I want something, I got to go get it. And, you know, I played sports and shit, so that kind of really gave me that really dog, dog mentality. Because I knew if I could be successful in this, I can take this mentality that I learned through this and apply that shit to anything. So, really, football, like, my, you know, playing, playing ball really gave me that mentality just to be a dog. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Okay, okay. Hey, I feel like football is a good inspiration to put everybody into that. You know, I feel like football kind of like toughens up a lot of people. But honestly. some people, some it might, some people it break. Yeah, that's it true. It break too. a lot. It break a lot of people. That is true. I ain't but if lie. you really take it in for what it's supposed to be, it's gonna make you into a motherfucking lion, and nobody can motherfucking stop. No, that's a fact. I got a question for you, brody. Whatever. <laughs> so you being from Nashville, brody. Who is top five out of your city? I would say doing what you're doing, though. Because you're not just a rapper and you're not just a singer, bro. So who's top five versatile out of your city, bro, that you could compare yourself to? What's Vince's top five? Like... Can't compare myself to nobody. If you ask me, it would be me, 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 me. <laughs> okay, all right, that's a good. I can't when I, like, all right, so when I say compare, who has the same type type of like style? Like who can do what you do? Like can rap, you know, do his thing, and also on that same, you know, same flip, he can go ahead and touch on a different note of the rap. Like not rapping, but on the singing tip. You know what I'm saying? Because you can, you know, you able to, you able to balance both. Mm -hmm. you know? So I'm like, who do you think can do that? 
Who would be like in your top five? I don't know. Really? I don't like you sound like you could tell me somebody. I don't know who anybody who can do it like Vincent. I don't, okay, I'm not saying like I know you. what I'm you're saying. saying. I understand the question that you're asking, but <laughs> I'm telling you, like, for real, like, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it feel like everybody in my city want to rap. Okay, I see what you're saying. Okay, like, okay, everybody okay. want to be the rapper, and the rapper don't get paid as much as the nigga who can be in the industry and be that versatile-ass nigga. Okay, so explain. But I didn't even, I didn't even... I didn't come into the industry wanted to be so versatile. That just came, that came out in this booth in the studio, and I was just like, "Damn, I can, I can do both." Mm-hmm. And that shit sound like fucking Grammy motherfucking hits. Mm-hmm. So this is like, nah, I didn't come into the industry with the. Oh, I'm gonna be versatile. I'm gonna be. I just knew I wanted to make music, mm-hmm. and the music that I make, that's what it, that's what it came out to be, versatile. Alright, no, that's a good look at So I don't know. So I don't know. To answer your question, I don't know. Right. Can you tell me somebody? I can give you one artist that I can see that's kind of doing both. You asked me five. Now you can only get one. <laughs> now what that say about the city? Now what that say about the city? But see, the difference is I'm not from here. You know, so nah, bro. I ain't but, from nah, here. Nah, you not from here, but... You know what you know Nashville. You know what's out here. I do know Nashville. I do know what's You know what's out here. I do know what's out here. You be doing all that... Yeah, I do be doing it. I be doing every reaction and everything. All right, all right, all right. So I was gonna go ahead and agree with your point too, because I was gonna ask you a follow up question about that. Because I was about to ask you to follow up. Why do you feel like everyone has to only be in that lane just to see a music like all right? It, money is just rapping, like, every, and it's not even just rapping. I feel like everybody in Nashville whose music I'm into and I'm listening to that I am a fan of, I'm not gonna act like I don't mess with their music. But everybody I'm into, it's all drill. And I'm not gonna lie, me being who I am from a creative perspective and everything, it kind of gets harder for us to come up with new creative aspects because all the videos get boring. So I kind of that's why I kind of look at you like maybe you could you know introduce me let me know somebody else out here I might not be into it but why do you feel like everyone in Nashville is kind of on the same wave like everybody I do rapping? know one dude who his name is Gray he low key though he he record with he record with Steve mm-hmm. he he got some different shit I fuck with too though okay yeah I'm gonna put you on you gonna check him out you probably gonna like this shit yeah put me on put me on but to answer my question why do you feel like everyone in Nashville just feels like drill music's the way out why aren't they don't thinking like how you are, which what you just said? Even though you know you just said you were coming in the industry just to be versatile, but why do you feel like they haven't kind of like understood like you know the money's in pop music stuff that you could put in music placements and I mean movie placements and stuff like that? You know where the real money is at. Why do you feel like they're just kind of like in that same lane? Hmm, that's a good question. Why do you think these niggas rapping the same? He said, I don't know. He said, I don't know. I just think that... Um, people scared to just step out the lane and just be different. Be they self. Everybody be they self. Everybody have a lane. That's what I did. I don't want to try to be like nothing. So you stick... People just not being they self, honestly. But if you yourself and you not... If you don't give a fuck if y'all homeboy don't like it, but you like it, I'm, you know, you're not trying to you know, just be yourself. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's how you got to do. You be yourself. It, you'll create your own way. No, that's true. So I have, <laughs> so do you think, because this is what I was kind of thinking. Yo, yeah, fine. <laughs> I don't think Nashville has a developed sound yet, and I feel like that's why they're trying to really go off of what they see in that's everywhere else. Yeah, then nobody's I, trying to I experiment. I be saying shit. I be saying shit. I just be like, what the fuck is this shit that we putting out into the city? Like, come on, now. like, black people need to stand for something a little bit more, more upright than that shit that we be trying. To... I ain't talking down on the veil. Mm-hmm. I just, I just want more. I expect better. Starlito, how long? It's been how long since Starlito been out? Um, uh, all right, so here's my thing about him. I didn't know nothing about Starlito until I came out here, bro. So I just found out about him five years ago. Okay, you came, <laughs> okay, but how long Starlito been out? I don't know. I didn't know That's who I feel like really first nigga come out the video because he was, then he was up there doing arena shows and shit, so that had to be like 2000. 
either between 2005 2010. And that just ain't had no other, I feel like, big, big developed artists like that. You know what I'm saying? And I, I think that that's true. And my thing is because I feel like it's been it's been thirteen years, thirteen years almost. Really? It's gonna be twenty twenty three, and we ain't had no. I mean, it's me, you know, you know, it's me now. But yeah. you say, but since, no, nah. no. Nah. And I get that because of my thing with that is I was wondering why they haven't because of you know number ones is they actually pop him and Don Trip. Don Trip's from Memphis, or is he from Nashville? I'm not, too, I'm not too and two and Don Trip either. I just know they kind of be together with the Step Brother uh, take they did, which was. I think I he, he not. Him. I don't think he originally from like a Nashville native, like born and raised. Okay, he so might they just be, in tune he with each other. He might be like to. Uh, I can't really speak on it for sure, you know. But I don't. Country. Yeah, I don't really know to do like that. Fact. Well, with him and everything, um, I don't know. I I never really knew them too, but I was under. I was kind of confused on why they didn't kind of bring up other artists because it is a lot of talent out here in Nashville, you know? And it, I kind of feel like they just... I, I don't know I don't know how their careers went. I really was not in tune with them at all until I got here. Um you so, talking about Don Tripp and Starley Young? Yeah, like I did not know a lick about them too until somebody put me on that Step Brothers mixtape and I was like, yeah, they, they, they's hard. But I, I was kind of curious like how their career went and everything, but nobody could really tell me nothing because everybody else was kind of like, oh, we just know these, these few songs and everything. So it was like, I wonder why they never came back and kind of like, you know, found the other type of artists and everything to bring them up, the ones out under them. You know what I'm saying? Because now they got Grind Hard, but I think it's like, it's uh, Red Dot, uh, you got Nard, Nardo something, uh, and it's one more dude, it's three of them, then they all on, on the Grind Hard thing that's under them. But I'm just kind of like trying to, I'm just like, why aren't they trying to like grab more people? Is this something that, have you noticed that they grabbed other artists? You ain't even know how you're doing seen, that? I ain't seen nobody really just be like, I'm signed to start a video. I'm managed by the niggas who done came up and shit, nigga, you mentioned. Hey, you ain't heard of Red Dot? I ain't never heard of him. Oh, wow. Oh, man. But yeah, he, they all in tune. <laughs> um, yeah, my fault. I mean, I say this. I say this. If Fred R. Rufus wasn't in jail, he would probably be there. He would have probably been the next drill artist up there. Mm. Okay. He, he would come up. Okay, Fredo Ruth. Yeah, Fredo Ruth. And he from, where you from? Where Fredo Ruth from? Uh, this nigga, damn it, this nigga don't know nothing. <laughs> <laughs> he said, I don't know nothing. But man, back to you, man. So you on this high streak, man. What's next, bro? What's, what can we expect next from Vincent, bro? Man, more music, more growth. You know, the music, it, it's, it's in a turning point now. It's going up. Just stay tuned. That's all I can really say. I ain't really gonna speak on too much. Just be watching. I know they watching. We on the way. Yeah, I can't wait to see it, man. I really think you got some heat on the way, bro. You've been going crazy on your visuals and everything, bro, and everything. Like, I really think... Shout out, shout out to JB, though. I, I appreciate you, bro. Yeah. Shout out to you. Snapping on, the, uh, snapping on the tree, <laughs> Man, shout out my boy, uh, so photos by Zoe, man. Yeah, he be going out, crazy yeah, on the shout BTS. Out, shout out Sim, you know, shout out my producer that time. Shout out Faze, you know, shout out, uh, mm, shout out everybody who fucking with me, for real, because y'all the reason I keep going, for real. Man, nah, you, you got a, a bright future in this career, man, you know what I'm saying? That's why I really rock with you, man, for sure. I rock with your music and everything, you know, I'm, you know, you like that. You're going crazy, bro. It's a movement. For it's bigger than music. It's a movement. It's a mindset. I'm really trying to install on the people. It's bigger than music. See, that's the thing. Once you got a purpose behind your music and what you're really doing, mm -hmm. you gonna find your motivation right there. I don't need no motivation to get up to go to the studio. You know, I am my motivation. That's true, man. A lot of people do need some motivation. Like I gotta have a. I gotta have a beat found. My I gotta, gotta be there. I gotta have the guns in the studio. <laughs> I gotta have a weed roll up. Gotta have, gotta have the nicest booth. These niggas be out here acting like, like they done made it already, fool. I don't give a fuck. I nigga, I've been recording. I was recording in the basement there. I done recorded closets, nigga. Yeah. I had working. I had working, fool. 
You yeah. gotta get it out the mud. No, that's you got to. That's where you learn your lessons from. No, that's a fact, man. Um, you wanna go ahead and give any shout outs to your supporters and everything before you get you up out of here, buddy? Man, just shout out to everybody who's been rocking with me. Uh, um, if you don't know me, follow me on Instagram, official Vincent. I'm gonna have some shit on the way. I got some shit on the way. Faith in me out right now, my new big single. That shit everywhere. The visual is on YouTube. Go get that hoe. We like at like three, three I think like 3.2, 3.3K. We finna break 4K. We finna make break, yeah, we finna break 4K soon. Like, hey, but that's just one video though. We got so much other shit on the way. Just stay tuned. We finna dump it off. That pressure. On me, let's get in tune, man. Okay. My boy Vincent, I appreciate you for coming rocking with me, Brody. I appreciate you. Salute. All right, catch you next time here on Real Talk with the Realist.